Hello. Welcome to Crafting as Therapy. Did you ever make designs like this when you were a kid? I know I did all the time. My sisters taught me, well, I think just my one sister taught me uh, how to do this with crayons and markers long, long time ago. <laughs> Um, but recently, I've been experimenting with a new way to do it. I started with some glue wall and my black testers paint. And one of these empty bottles that I purchased from Michael's in that section that's right in front of the cash registers. Um... It's been really fun experimenting because, you know, I haven't done it for years. And when you don't feel like working on a project, but you want to kind of do something crafty or creative, um, this has filled the purpose. I started with filling the paint to the top of the line. So just a small amount there. And then about up to there with the glue. So I wanted to make sure there was still shaking room. And I'm sure you could use the regular school glue or even the clear stuff, but I haven't tried that yet because I do not have them. I'll show you a few that I did. The, this one was actually my first one that I used brush pens. Um, and that's the brand if you want to see that. The colors aren't really what they show. Um, they're a little bit different because as you can see, this is red, but that doesn't really look like red, <laughs> but maybe the color changes with age and I've had these for a while that I, uh, never used them. And so, but here's my second one. And for these, I used my Prismacolor markers. Same with that one. But I thought it was just a neat idea that I would make a short video to show you how I went about it. I found this paper pad at five below. So 38 sheets for five bucks. You can't really go wrong with that. That's just watercolor paper. I don't know if it's heat or cool pressed or anything and and it really doesn't matter you could use multimedia paper um could do it on a canvas if you wanted or on wood i've even seen videos where they're making faux stained glass and with this technique and then using uh glass paint you could use other kind of paint too um but it's just nice and simple. If you're trying to find something for the kids to do on a rainy day or a snowy day where they can't go play outside and you don't want them on their electronic devices. Or I noticed uh, because of the ridges of the paint, this would be a really great uh, tool to use to teach how teach your little ones how to color within the lines. Um, not that that's always important, but some, you know, it's good to learn. But all you do, and you have to squeeze it a good amount of pressure. I did try doing a design. Um, but you would definitely want a smaller point, like one of those needle uh, applicator bottles. Would be really great for doing the drawing part so I'll show you and that's so simple I mean you can make any design you want um, this I tried trying <laughs> yeah that's so good but it was still fun to try but I'm definitely gonna get a needle applicator bottle and give it a whirl and here's another one I did um, that's fully dried so I can color that later but the cool thing is you can, and you could even switch out the color if you wanted. Put a different color paint in with your glue. 
and that would be just fine. But you can use brush pens. If you have traditional watercolor, um, regular acrylic to color it in if you want to do a color scheme. I thought this would be really fun. Or if you do dot painting the traditional way, you could use those and make each section different with dots. Be really fun to do with metallics. That would be neat. Or you could even use your alcohol inks. You could brush it on, you could drop it on. You could do this on the paper that you use for alcohol inks um, and do the same process. That would be neat to try. <laughs> I found these while I was looking for uh, my watercolors that no idea where they are. But you could even use pastels. The cool thing about this box of pastels is they are the ones I used from high school. And as you can tell, I didn't really get into doing pastels. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think it was just because it was messy in a different way that I didn't like that powder all over. But now that I'm older and appreciate the mess, I think I'll give it a try again. But the options are endless. You can, oop, awesome. But uh, you can use anything, markers, crayons, uh, even the colored pens, gel pens, and any kind of paint. I, I guess I wouldn't, waste uh, oil paints on it <laughs> but uh, yeah you could do anything and that's just a quick little short for today and hope it helps erase some boredom for you if you give it a try let me know how you like it have a wonderful day take care